Hi, this is Behfor, your host, and in this video, I want to install TCP dump on my ASUS wireless router. That actually allows me to analyze the packets that are going in and out of the wireless router, which makes that a great tool for troubleshooting the network. Well, I've already talked about using a packet analyzer software such as the Wireshark on a computer before. For example, here I used the Wireshark to find the IP address of this security camera which was unknown. And I talked all about it in that video. In fact, I would suggest to watch that video first if you haven't already, because then this video will probably make much more sense. And while you're at it, could you please do me a favor and let me know in the comments below that um, if you preferred the style of the videos back then where I guess there was a little bit of comedy involved or maybe you like them better the way they are today or neither. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Now, there are times that it might come in handy if I can take a packet capture not only on a computer but also on network devices such as wireless routers. For example, I've recently set up an open VPN server on this ASUS wireless router, but for some reason I cannot connect to it when I'm outside. But if I can take a packet capture on the internet interface of the router, then I'll have a better idea of how things are and I can narrow down the issue and hopefully fix it. We will come back to this later, but first let's see how we can take that packet capture. Well, obviously I cannot install that Wireshark on my wireless router. I wish I could, but I might be able to install the TCP dump, which is a command line packet analyzer and works on most of the Unix like operating systems. So in wireless routers, some third party firmware, including the ASUS WRT Merlin, allow me to install it. ASUS WRT Merlin, as you might know, is actually designed for certain ASUS wireless routers only. And I've installed it on mine so I can install the TCP dump. The process of installing and using the TCP dump is done through an SSH connection. So first I should enable the SSH in the web interface of the router. The default SSH port is 22 but I can use a different port if I want to. I'm just gonna use the default one for now. Now, a very useful tool for establishing an SSH connection is PuTTY, which is free to download and use. I just need to enter the IP address of the router here and make sure the SSH is selected and the port number is correct too. Now I can log into the router using the same username and password that I used to log into the web interface. Alright, at this point in front of me there is a command line interface which I'm going to use to first install the TCP dump and then use it to take that packet capture. Now installing the TCP dump involves a couple of steps. First I need to connect a USB thumb drive to the wireless router. It doesn't have to be something fancy. For example I'm using my old USB 2 thumb drive that I don't use anymore. This one is already formatted to the NTFS file system but I'm going to have to format it again to one of those after I connect it to the wireless router. Next, using the command line interface, I'm gonna go to the AMTM, which allows me to install Entware, which is a software repository and has a tool in it which I can use it to install the TCP dump. That might sound very complicated, but all of that is done by just entering a couple of commands. So let's do it. I'm gonna type in AMTM so I can enter the AMTM environment. It is asking me to select a theme. I guess I'm more comfortable with number seven, so I'm gonna select that. Here, if I enter I, it will show me all the available tools. I need to format the USB thumb drive, so I'm gonna enter FD. This will erase all the data on the USB thumb drive, which is fine by me, mine is actually already empty. And just to be on the safe side, I'll make sure I have removed any other attached USB drive. Here I should see the USB thumb drive that I want to format and then I can select it. Now as far as the number of partitions, I have a couple of options, but I'm gonna use one partition and ext4 file system which is recommended, but ext2 or 3 should also be fine. At this point the router will reboot, so I just need to wait for a few minutes and then I can SSH back to the router. This time in the AMTM, I'm gonna enter EP which will install the Entware.
This router can run 32 or 64 bit antware. 64 is recommended, but 32 should be fine if 64 is not supported. After the antware is installed, I can exit the AMTM and type this command which will install the TCP dump. Alright, it is now the time to take that packet capture. But just keep in mind that there are tons of packets going in and out of the WAN interface. So if I just have the TCP dump show me all the packets, then I'm not going to be able to easily find what I need. And that's why it is better to apply some filters so it can show me the exact packets that I'm looking for and nothing more. Or I can also have the TCP dump save that packet capture into a file, then I can transfer that file to my computer, open it with Wireshark and apply the necessary filters. I kind of prefer the second one, but we're gonna do both of them. For this particular router, the Ethernet 0 interface is actually the WAN port, but I can see the list of all the interfaces by using this command. Now, by entering this command, it should start taking the packet capture on the WAN interface of the router and show me the packets that are using the default OpenVPN port, which is UDP 1194. Meanwhile, and on the client side, I will try a few times to connect so it can generate some OpenVPN traffic. But as you can see, it looks like unfortunately we are not receiving any OpenVPN related traffic at all. Now I'm gonna take another packet capture, but this time filter it by the IP address of the client, just in case the OpenVPN is using a different port, maybe a fallback port. Well, it looks like the problem is that the server is not receiving any OpenVPN traffic from the client. Maybe a firewall is blocking it at some point. But one thing is for sure, with this packet capture now I know the problem is not the server and it is more likely on the client side. Now after checking the client configuration, I realized it was using the IP address of the server to connect and not the DDNS address. Because the IP address of the server was dynamic, it had already changed to something else. And that's why a DDNS address is a better option to use here, because unlike the IP address, it doesn't change. So this was just a simple example of how a packet capture on the wireless router can easily help us to narrow down the issue further. Now if I wanted to see the packet capture in the Wireshark, I could have used this command which would save the packet capture into this file. And one way to transfer that file to my computer is by using this tool. Which I can download it from the same place I downloaded PuTTY. Now, I have saved it in the C directory, so I'm gonna open a Windows command prompt and go there. Here I will use this command which should copy that packet capture file from the wireless router and paste it here in the C directory. Alright, so this was just a simple example of how taking a packet capture on the wireless routers can also be helpful. But obviously the main focus of this video was on how to install and use the TCP dump. In the future though, I'm actually going to use it to troubleshoot some more interesting scenarios. But until then, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Share it if you think others might like it too. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Also, I would like to give a big shout out to the supporters of the channel on Patreon. I really really appreciate their support because it is helping the channel to provide much better quality content to you. If you also want to consider supporting the channel, links are in the video description. Thank you again and I will see you next time.